If you do this, the narcissist in your life will stop trying to get in touch with you and leave you alone. Everyone is welcome to join the conversation if they want to. I'm glad you're still watching this video if you've made it this far. In today's post, I'll talk about why you shouldn't expect an ex-narcissist to say sorry for the damage they did to the relationship. Since neither of you wants to be there, it doesn't matter who left who. In the worst cases, certain actions could make narcissists not like you at all or at least spend a lot less time with you in the future. The narcissist will try to get in touch with you over and over again. Even though you've probably already told him no a dozen times he keeps asking. He or she will call, text and message you on Facebook until you talk to them again. You can't help but be drawn to them when they act like the charming people they used to be. Even though it seems like bad things keep happening, you keep giving him another chance. You might not understand why they keep coming back. You might not know why they keep trying to touch each other. So let's explain everything in today's clip. Your narcissist's constant need for narcissistic supply is easiest to explain by the fact that you give it to them more quickly and easily than anyone else. Even better, you keep putting them back into the game. Narcissists won't do anything unless their narcissistic supply is regularly refilled or lack thereof. Narcissists who keep going back to the same places do so because they are sure they can get more narcissistic supply from them or because they haven't thought of anything better. Send him away so he can do what he wants to do. Despite what you may have heard, narcissists don't always do a 180 and come back into your life after you've asked them to leave. Even though it's very unlikely, there are a few things that could make a narcissist go away for good. It makes sense to think that the type of relationship affects how likely it is that a narcissist will come back. No matter what the situation is, you'll see that most of my ideas are true for narcissists from all times and places. You are the only one who can say if they can come back or not. The main thing that would drive them would be to avoid conflict. False narcissists are afraid of being confronted because it forces them to show who they really are. Because of this, a narcissist will shut down if someone can see past their facade and tell them the truth. We shouldn't put people into broad groups based on how narcissistic they are. Instead, we should focus on figuring out how they lie and trick other people. Narcissists are afraid of people who tell the truth and won't back down when they are called out for being dishonest or manipulative. The narcissist will never try to get back in touch with this person. They think this person is a threat to their fake identity. Narcissists are at risk of being found out when someone sees through their lies. The second problem is that you haven't talked to the narcissist at all. Do anything you can to avoid talking to a narcissist. If a narcissist doesn't know where you are or how to reach you, they can't go after you. Zero contact means that you don't talk to the narcissist at all. You can't be tricked or manipulated by the person with whom you've said no contact until you decide to talk to them again by ending the no contact. Ignoring a narcissist is a tried and true way to never have to talk to that person again. Lastly, the narcissist will never come back to you after you expose them in public. If you do something like this to a narcissist, they will never forgive you. When narcissists are shown to be fake, they lose the ability to take advantage of other people. If you show them for who they really are, they will run away. They'll have to look for a whole new group of easy people to attack. Next, you will never see your narcissist again if you stop giving them the attention, time, money, empathy or pain they need. They all serve the egotistical needs of the people who use them. You can make a narcissist look elsewhere for supply if you cut off their emotional supply or attachment to you. This will force them to look elsewhere for supply. When deciding whether or not to spend time, money or attention on someone, it's important to think about how they feel. As I said in the video, 
This is when the narcissist realizes you're not coming back. You need to make sure you don't let the narcissist make you feel too close to them. The most important thing to do is to stay away from the narcissist. Narcissists are expert manipulators whose goal is to get us to feel something. Gas is important in a lot of ways. You can help them out if you don't give them what they want out of kindness. You have to let them know that what they say or do can't hurt you emotionally. If you don't give them what they want, narcissists will only stick with people they can use to boost their own self-esteem and gain power over. This is why it's important not to give a narcissist a bad response. Doing so gives them more power. So, you shouldn't give them any kind of response, whether it's good or bad. If you stop giving a narcissist something to feel good about, they will likely stop caring about you and try to avoid you. Narcissists only care about people who can give them what they want, which is called narcissistic supply, grey rocking, or blocking out all feelings toward the narcissist, could help you avoid being manipulated by them. But if you do this, the narcissist will ignore, dismiss, and completely cut you out of their life. For a narcissist, it's like pulling teeth to be around someone they can't easily dominate or control. Next, the ex-narcissist might not want to come back if they've moved on and found someone better. Narcissists are always looking for more narcissistic supply, so if you give them a lot, they will probably stay away from you. Since they already think they've won, why would they bother to come back? Assuming they can keep tight control over supply and even find new, more valuable sources of supply, their main concern would be showing off their newfound wealth. Narcissists can also be hard to deal with if you have a strong social network. Sometimes, but it does happen, the victim's friends and family will trust the victim more than they do the narcissist. The narcissist's attempts to make the victim look bad backfired, revealing the narcissist as a manipulator and abuser. Since the narcissist needs to get permission from their support system before they can talk to this person again, they are off limits. It's not worth your time and effort to trick the same people over and over again with the same scam. If you've tried everything I've suggested today and the narcissist is still not paying attention to you, you may now know why and what you can do about it. But some narcissists might keep trying after a while in the mistaken belief that you'll forget or in the hope that they can convince you that they've changed. People will stand out for different reasons. It's important to fight against them when they try to clean up and keep them out for good. Again, I hope that this information helps you. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and tell your friends to watch it. I really appreciate you watching and listening to what I have to say. God bless you and watch over you this week. The conclusion this video discusses the behavior of narcissists and how to avoid them. The author explains that it is unlikely for an ex-narcissist to apologize for the damage they did to the relationship. Narcissists have a constant need for attention which is why they keep trying to get back in touch with their ex-partner. The article explains that it is important to avoid talking to a narcissist and cut off their emotional supply, which will force them to look elsewhere. Narcissists are afraid of people who tell the truth and won't back down when they are called out for being dishonest or manipulative. If a narcissist is exposed in public, they will never forgive the person who exposed them. The article concludes that the most important things to do is to stay away from narcissists and not give them any kind of response, whether it's good or bad. By ignoring them and cutting off the supply, they will likely stop caring about the person and try to avoid them. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.